Wow, Tommy really, really was not lying when he said this is some of the best Ninjago ever. This is like, this season is so, so, so good. I'm really excited to talk about it. Let's uh, do that. Ninjago is back to introducing royals and immediately killing them, and I love it. We have to talk about this, dude. I have i don't think the show has ever had like an actual on-screen death, excluding... Uh, Morrow, where we see them actually die, but dude, Kalmar attacks him, and then we slowly see the life fade from this dude until he actually dies. How did they get away with this? Okay, okay, we gotta talk about Kalmar. Beforehand, I thought this guy is really cool, great animation, design, and voice acting, but now this dude is a goat. I love him. His motivation of hating surface dwellers and wanting them just like all eradicated by Wojira is so good and ties into the fact that the Spinjitzu Master wasn't here originally so well. I also love how they're building up Wojira. I'm so excited to see her finally come on screen and just like burn everything down. It's gonna be so cool. It's good. I think Wojira's release is gonna be like Great Devourer level of like scale and I'm very excited to see it. But yeah, I love the Malopian society so far. Literally every character that they've introduced so far is so likeable and like charismatic. They have a really good set of characters here and I'm very, very excited to see how they build on them. Also, this scene is super funny and Nia toying with Kalmar was like very, very funny. I'm very excited to see how these characters interact more because they have a great bit being set up. Also, animation, action and emotional bits were great. I love the bit where Jay's powering the battery. I have a feeling that people will call it forced emotions and that one word Ninjago fans have ruined, filler. But I think this is a really good scene, and was really great tonally, uh, raised the stakes well, and was a good resolution to the battery thing in the Hydra Bounty. I liked it. I love how Zane wears a helmet on the sole basis that it completes his outfit. That's really funny, and really good way to explain it. Because I saw people whining about um, how he has the helmet on in the poster, and why does he have a diamond helmet on? He doesn't need it, that's so dumb. But like, this is such a fun way to explain it, and I like it. And he's right, it does complete the outfit. Also, Kalmar's brother, Benfema, is such like a lovable character, and I feel like he's going to be one of the best side characters that aid the ninja throughout the season. I'm very excited to see more of him, he seems really fun. But yeah, I hope the next few episodes focus around the Kai Cole Wu plot, because I want to see more of that. But I think we're probably going to have another episode of the ocean plot before that, which is fine. I love the ocean plot, but I really want to see some more of Wu Kai and Cole. So yeah, what did I think of this set of episodes overall? I love them. This season just gets better and better with every set of episodes, and I'm so excited to see where the plot goes. So yeah, uh, long live King Kalmar, rest in peace the old king, and here's to some more really, really good episodes. <laughs>